Welcome to another episode of The Brand Called You, a podcast and podcast show that brings you leadership lessons, knowledge, experience, and wisdom from hundreds of successful individuals from around the world. I'm your host, Ashutosh Garg, and today I'm privileged to welcome a very, very senior professional and a branding expert, Mr. S.P. Garg, who's currently in the U.S. Mr. Garg, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Garg, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, Mr. Garg is a, a personal branding expert. He's an independent consultant, and he's the former managing director of the Bank of Baroda Cards. So uh, let us first talk about personal branding. You know, you yeah. help people in personal branding and thought leadership. So first tell me what is personal branding? Yes, it's a very interesting question and it, people would be interested to know about it also. As far as I'm concerned, when we talk about the personal branding in the context of branding, mm -hmm. branding in general, people talk in marketing terms, advertising terms. Mm -hmm. But as far as the individual is concerned, whether it is a big shot, Narayana Murthy, Pratan Tata Sir, Narendra Modi ji, and all other, Amitabh Bachchan ji, mm -hmm. they have grown from stage one. Mm -hmm. And when they sharpen their values, their systems, their, their qualities, their knowledge base, their wisdom, then they become the brand. This is my personal feel. Mm -hmm. And it is not one day affair. It is not only the image consultant course somewhere that uh, people will join over there and it would become the personal branding. However, you can groom some time, but personal branding is totally based upon the system which you inculcate. People appreciate you. People love you. People admire you. That is the personal branding in my opinion. For this purpose, Definitely, there are the various activities which a person has to imbibe in himself or herself and to sharpen their skills by their value system, by their presence, by their everything. That is the personal branding, I feel so. And it takes a lot of time, a lot of efforts. And sometimes the failures also give you the movement, upward movement towards the success and success gives you the personal branding in a big way. This is my personal feel. So whether what are the steps yeah. in building a personal brand? Yeah, correct. Uh, Garksa, what I would like to say, as your one of the book also mentions, your personal branding starts when you are born. Mm -hmm. Your parents give you the branding. Mm -hmm. Then your school gives you the branding. In a school also, when we, we are the students, either in the fifth class or in the eighth class, people call it by the different, different names also. Sharp, intelligent, mm -hmm. duffer. And all these things, mm -hmm. uh, hard worker, task master, all these things. So that step continues over there throughout the life. So that personal branding starts since our childhood. And when we move to the uh, higher education, college, university, then definitely some more focus is given over there towards career. And in the career also, you, sh you make your presence felt in such a way so that other people appreciate. So that is another thing. When you go to the, any organization or when you start your own venture or your own activity or when you start any other business, then definitely you put up more efforts in the branding on ethics also. I feel those people who are ethical, those who are honest, those who are dedicated, their personal branding improves upon. And then your family also plays an important role in your own personal branding. Mm -hmm. If you are happy, if you are contented, if you are social, if you believe in the emotional intelligence connecting with the people, then definitely your personal branding improves a lot. It is a feel. What I say, it is total, it is a total feel. How you feel yourself. It is not the others only. It is basically your inner feel should come of your own improvement, value addition, and you should be important, not very important, but you should be useful to the society, to your family, to your nation. That is the personal branding in my opinion. And for this purpose, sir, what I feel, Garksa, mm -hmm. a lot of efforts are needed. Mm -hmm. A lot of efforts are needed. Mm -hmm. Every day we learn. Those who sharpen their skills, I always say to my MBA students and engineering students, wherever I was in the teaching also, uh, friends, you must sharpen your skills. Mm -hmm. Without sharpening your skills in this competitive world, 
you are not fit at all so far and personal branding people would love you people would love you to talk to you people would love to have a coffee with you and that is the personal uh, branding this is my strong very, feel very and in my in my 50 years of the career of the academics as well as the corporate world what i have felt and what i have done so many setbacks will come they will they may they may try to spoil your personal branding also but believe in self always be focused mm. Re- uh, remove your obstacles also believe in god and then definitely you would come forward in a successful way by positioning your brand just in the market any product is to be repositioned then in the same way by strategic planning by to be competitive in the market for your personal approach you mm. will have to be focused and if you are focused then definitely every day your personal branding measures would improve upon and you would be a nice person if you are in what i say sir at the at this time at this age of my 73 branding is nothing it is basically if you are happy if you create happiness for the society that is your personal branding whatsoever you give back to the society to the people to the young generation millennials that is your branding sir it means you are a product you are a product sharpen it sharpen it sharpen it develop it develop so, it develop so for develop all our young it. listeners who are yes, listening to sir. our conversation yes, what sir. are the steps i should take yeah to build my personal brand correct sir sir uh, for, i will talk first uh, to the for the corporate managers mm-hmm. corporate uh, people so sure. first of first of all when any mba engineering graduate or any ca cs when they join the corporate world they people may not accept you initially mm-hmm. so what is to be done just like i say in a balance sheet balance sheet is not written on quarterly basis balance sheet is written not only on annual basis mm-hmm. balance sheet and the profit and loss statement is written every day Mm-hmm. so what my request and the suggestions to the young generation and to the corporate managers should be please be useful to your organization by your own constant efforts mm-hmm. if you do not write your own balance sheet on daily basis organization will forget you you don't become important but create the value addition for your organization if your boss likes you by your performance by your attitude by your diligence then definitely you are creating the brand so first important point first mantra would be believe in self and self and be focused if you are then definitely second important point which i would like to say never criticize your organization mm-hmm. never criticize your organization never criticize your bosses also and i i would not use the word diplomatic be honest to yourself but reserve your negative comments don't be the part of the gossip center people would love you when you are neutral when you are uh, taking care of the organization this is my second point which i'd like to suggest to the people please be an integral part of the image building of the organization mm-hmm. corporate image organization image and personal image they all go together you cannot create your own image if you do not have the corporate image and people means organization would love you if you are taking care of this thing third important point sir in this 21st century the most important thing is the knowledge mm-hmm. knowledge if you upgrade your knowledge by reading by attending ted talks by attending this type of the conference seminars also and learning from others because you are very well aware garg sir there is a saying and a very famous saying when you grow in the organization or are in your life learn unlearn and relearn mm-hmm. if we adopt this process i will give you my example sir though in, when i was with bank of baroda for such a long time and even in the top notch positions also i used to devote about 2 hours for my constant reading mm-hmm. and a constant reading should not only in your own field because that is your bread and butter you will have to do the best of the best over there but please read general general things also which of your interest 
for example i always read the articles books on leadership strategic management transformation and all other so therefore that has widened my horizons and my knowledge also this is the third point sir fourth point would be in my opinion that always take reasonable risks mm -hmm. if you cannot take risk you cannot sharpen your brand risks means though you have to maintain a balance between personal family social and to a certain extent uh, uh, spiritual also sir when the age passes we must be little bit of the spiritual tendency also in that way we can maintain and develop our own brand these are the four important points some okay. other points i may cover later also okay. depending on your so question, tell me sir. you know these days social media yes. is being used extensively for yes, sir. corporate branding personal branding sir. what are your thoughts on social media okay sir sir i am a man of the old school of thoughts basically mm -hmm. but even then with the present time social media plays an important role Mm. positive and the negative but as far as the social media is concerned for the professionals like us we should be away from the glamour mm. glamour will never give you the branding that may be for a particular section of the artist actors and all other as a professional sir our own contribution in our professional field through social media for example i say linkedin is one of the best Mm -hmm. linkedin is one of the best social media there you exchange thoughts your idea you pay you post certain uh, means uh, your articles or news items and other thing and then you react also that makes you strong in the social media social media is to be taken in such a way so that it does not uh, hamper your growth and no negativity and always positivity things but facebook i don't appreciate much Mm -hmm. because when you go on the facebook uh, 30 to 40% contacts are fictitious mm -hmm. to be people in uh, facebook may agree or may not agree mm -hmm. i have seen because here in chicago i get some time i do, i used to devote some time on the facebook also and i used to put up my articles and the books also over there but linkedin is one of the best quora your age and other one there if you put up the questions and this is your response over there people appreciate you people not only appreciate they always been touch with you then email email and the whatsapp also if you are the member of the very quality whatsapp groups also then definitely you can sharpen your brand so these type of the media they are useful to all all of us professional people for our product our services our own personal liking and then finally what i say over here if you read a good article try to put up its bullet points in the social media also mm -hmm. wherever you get an opportunity besides the social media attending the talk somewhere offering your own talk mm -hmm. that is also the part of the social media i don't say that it is only the e e social media it is in general wherever you perform that is the media that media gives you the positioning also activity also but my request to the young generation what i have seen still today i see some of the students and the young managers are still on the social media in the midnight to 2 o'clock 3 mm. o'clock in the morning no that is not the good thing they might be doing something bad also for themselves for their health because the health is also an integral part of your own branding so professionals must take care of the health also all these recent examples of the suicides commitments and all other things also sir you are very well aware from being the leader of the corporate world and of this uh, brand and uh, this is a wonderful so in this way all professionals should use social media reasonably reasonably Do, so, don't become addict well, don't become addict so another question that i have for you is that what can go wrong in personal yeah. brand yes sir number 1 excess of everything is bad mm -hmm. Ex excess of everything is bad. brand you will improve upon but don't exert much pressure inner or from the outer side for your personal branding mm -hmm. people should love you brand is just like you feel it you smell it you admire it 
you just live in you live in i remember a dialogue of amitabh bachchan sir he used to say unhone english ke liye bola tha i love english i eat english i drink english i sleep english i dream english in the same way please focus on your inner values quality your knowledge mm-hmm. your wisdom your contribution to the society that would be your assets and then if you do any gimmicks with your branding by outer forces by some other agencies also then definitely it may spoil you you may get some uh, some uh, immediate advantage but in the long run no you would not be known as uh, ashutosh gar are you not be known as sp gar basically your own branding will come by your own contributions not by negative uh, you may feel it positive but definitely they may put up some negative things also and the most important damage will come when you try to impose yourself on someone else okay. and that is not the that is not the uh, sir that is not at all the branding branding should be a very smooth process which take you to the ultimate here i have seen sir i am very uh, bitter little bit on this thing i have seen good number of the corporate leaders so called corporate leaders by position they become leader they they become the title i call them as the position title but they are not the, they are pseudo leaders they are pseudo leader when you are in the position sir then definitely people will follow you that is not the brand that is your that is the compulsion of your junior people also to follow you mm-hmm. but when you are respected in the society outside when you are not on that job that is your personal branding so we have to be be aware of the pseudo leaders also and as the passage goes we should move from our leadership to the servant leadership okay. means i'm talking now to the higher level at like the corporate leadership also people say that we are transformational leader we are this type of the leader but ultimately if you are serving the society in the best possible way and in the present context sir friends india is a strong brand whosoever whatsoever we are doing india is moving in a big way towards its own branding whether it is the government of india various projects also skill development and all others definitely uh, i i am in america here sir i was here in uh, in 2000 also 1999 also when i was the in charge of the bank abroad operations in usa the time difference in, in these 20 years what i observed sir earlier we used to people never recognize us now after 20 years when i'm in chicago here wherever we go india is respected in the very befitting way so okay. india has positioned itself that is the brand sir okay. that is the brand and good. all of you all of you entrepreneurs corporate bodies and everyone has contributed and sir take the example of our ratan tata sir what a great personality tata brand i remember sir when i was the marketing professor i used to tell to my students also mm. uh, i read one billboard of tata in jaipur sir mm. when you go from airport to the city side there was a bill board and i was i for two three days i did not understand the meaning of that line sir but now i would like to tell you that they mentioned our values it, it was of the tata steel they mentioned our values are stronger than what we make sir please are you getting i understand i understand uh, nahi no, not you means i'm talking those who would be hearing uh, later uh, on also sure they understand yes sir uh, that, that uh, tagline was our values are stronger than what we make it means they used to say our steel is the product but our values are so strong that is the branding sir that is the branding of a company of a product service of an individual sir and you see in this uh, our this corona time the statements of tata sir what he say don't cut the salary of the people take care of them take care of them so it was a great message that is the branding and individuals would also take the best possible advantage of the these stalwarts these leaders also to a certain extent i admire narendra modi sir also he has done best of the best for 
branding of India, either by the various implementation of the various projects like Atmanirbhar Bharat, Atmanirbhar Bharat, and uh, uh, that is a great. Thing. Sir, I'm sorry, yeah. I have to. I'm sorry, I have to stop you. You know, we are, oh, we are short of time. Oh yes, we've welcome. Already spoken welcome. for over twenty-one minutes. I have only okay. time for one more question, and I'm okay, going to sir. come back to the personal brand. At hmm. what stage of one's life should one start thinking of one's personal brand? Sir, it starts from the college days, uh -huh. school days, college days, beginning, beginning. Okay. When, when we respect our parents, when we respect our nature, mm -hmm. when we plant the trees, even under this uh, World uh, Earth Day or this thing, that is branding starts. When we respect our teachers in the class, the personal branding starts. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not uh, the, uh, when you are at 30 or 35 or at 40, no. Personal branding quality start from the day one, from the day one. And uh, it is a continuous process. Okay. Means uh, I, I used to remember that uh, those who are dedicated to their studies along with their value system, quality system, they become the good contributors to the society. Whether people recognize them as the brand, but they get the utmost satisfaction in their life they have contributed something and that is the personal branding, sir. This is... Thank you and, so much. Uh, thank my pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. Up, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you my for pleasure. sharing all your experience on personal branding with us. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you, sir. Thank you for listening to the brand called You Videocast and Podcast. A platform that brings you knowledge, experience and wisdom of hundreds of successful individuals from around the world. Do visit our website www.tbcy.in to watch and listen to the stories of many more individuals. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Just search for the brand called You.